He was the coolest dude in my neighborhood. He had long hair like the doctor. I thought that was fresh. He had all cool clothes. But the thing about Philip, Philip was a gangster, he was a gangster, but he used to spend time with us. He would give us candy, he would take us to the store and like walk with us, and we thought we were so cool. And one day, Philip was sitting outside of my grandfather's house on the porch, waiting for my aunt to come outside. And I looked out the window, I just woke up, I look out, I see Philip on the outside sitting in the front, I say, hey Philip! He's like, what's up, little man? So I go hurry up to get my shoes and my socks on. I'm trying to get dressed to go outside and see Philip. While I'm in there putting on my socks, I hear this. They shot and killed my friend Philip right there in front of the house. These were the people I thought would give me significance. I lost my father. I felt like I lost my mother. My uncle Chris beat me and put me in the trunk, and Philip got killed right in front of my face. Who do I turn to? Where do I get my significance from? I wrestled with this my whole life. Listen, I don't know what you believe in. Maybe you don't believe in anything. Maybe you don't believe in God. If you don't believe in God, then stop treating yourself so good. Stop eating, stop taking naps, stop buying clothes, because if there's no God, you're not significant. Because if there's no God, nobody made you, and you have no significance, so you're the source of your own significance, which means you're just an accident. You weren't even supposed to be here. If there's no God, there's no good. Because if there's no good, there's no standard. And if God is the standard, there's a good. So there's a God. But here's the thing. Who is he? Who is he and where is he? Here's the thing for a lot of us. Some of you are looking for something to be your God. Maybe you want rules and religion to be your God. Maybe you think if you just do good enough, you'll be significant. You'll have worth and you'll have meaning. Maybe you think if you do the right things all the time, you'll have worth and you'll have meaning. Maybe you think if you have a bunch of fun, you'll have meaning, you'll have significance. Or if you date the right person, you'll have worth, you'll have significance. Those are lies. Your significance can never be found in power, in pleasure, or possessions. You go to the store, especially in America right now, and look in the store, there's all kinds of books that try to tell us how to be significant. How to be happy in seven things. <laughs> Read this book and you'll be special. But the problem with that book is it assumes that I'm just an emotional being. That you just gotta fix my emotions. Some books say, oh, you just need more exercise and eat better. The problem there is it assumes I'm just a physical being. Some books say you just need some friends. Get on Facebook, get on Twitter, get some friends. Yes. They assume I'm just a social creature. But you're not just a physical, emotional, and social being. You're a spiritual being. You're complex. You're too complex. The Bible says you're God's workmanship created for the things that he's preplanned. The God said that God, the Bible says God made you in his likeness and his image. You've been stamped in the image of God.